scheduling your week is a challenge for everyone and maybe even more so for freelancers. In this video, I'm taking you through my process for planning my weeks. Hey, if we haven't met yet, my name is Tom Wood and I'm a freelance media composer. On this channel, I do um, like composing tutorials and tips and tricks, and sometimes more productivity talks like this. If you've been following along in the earlier episodes, I've had my wife, Shanat, here, uh, but she's not here today. I found that planning my weeks when freelancing is a little bit different maybe to uh, other people's weeks because they're so organic and they're so dynamic. So they change a lot even throughout the week. So coming up with a kind of a system that enables me to change certain things while still maintaining my priorities uh, has been key. And a lot of the time, this prioritizing happens entirely in my own head, um, changing stuff around, uh, like prioritizing how my day is gonna look. But I've been trying to get better at following a system and kind of sticking to it. So this is uh, what I'm gonna show you today. Uh, we've sketched out a like a template to build my week from, and it's gonna look uh, something like this when we're done. All right, let's see if this is gonna show. <laughs> so uh, my wife wrote this and we spent a day kind of talking about what's important and kind of sketched out a template week. And being a freelancer means that no week is going to look exactly like this, but we're kind of starting with this as a template, uh, which I'll, I'll get to later. So what do I mean by prioritizing? Well, um, you can have different kind of pillars in your life, I believe, uh, that's important to you. And if you spread those pillars uh, too thin, then the whole building might, might just come down. So I believe that uh, you should choose some things to focus on and choose activities that kind of resonate with those pillars. This is this is a crazy picture. <laughs> Examples of these pillars could be, for example, family, it could be you time, it could be like your business side of things, administration maybe. Uh, like you can, you can make this system into whatever you like, uh, but kind of try to sort the kind of activities that you wanna get done in a typical week. So if you want to exercise every day, for example, that's something you have to put in your calendar. I don't do that. And that's why yours can be different from mine. Once you've kind of sorted the different activities that you want to get done in the week, be kind of like heartless and prioritize what's most important for you right now. It doesn't have to be for the rest of your life, but right now, what's the most important things that you're doing. And just by thinking through these things, you'll actually start to develop some kind of structure for what you're gonna do once things start to move, right? You're in the middle of a week and suddenly a client says, ah, oh, I need you to work an extra day, for example. That's really common for me in the freelancing world. And what happens then to the new project that's supposed to start tomorrow when I have to work an extra day on the last project, just an example. And after you've done this, you can kind of start to maybe categorize the different activities a little more. So how about you sort them based on what kind of genre of activity it is? Is it like me time? Then it could be me time, could be exercising, could be spending time with your family. It could be playing a video game. It could be watching a movie. Uh, and if you schedule all those things, that, that would all be me stuff, right? Or you could do like work, uh, creative work. Uh, for me, that would be making music, checking out new plugins, new sample libraries, delving deeper into something that you can kind of sort those in a creative thing. Or you could do other work-related stuff like email and social media and marketing and invoicing and taxes and all of those kind of parts of freelance life uh, that's not really creative 
you can uh, kind of sort that into a box as well, right? And then the idea is to kind of group activities together based not on projects one after another, but rather the kind of activity that you're doing. Batching is not a new thing, it's all over YouTube, I know that. But uh, for freelancers especially, I think it's essential for upping your productivity game a lot. And I think the reason that is, is because we're doing so much different stuff. I talked about that in the last episode where we talked about uh, doing freelance life with kids. So if you want to watch that, it's right here. We talked about prioritizing and sorting the different activities that you do throughout a week. And when I say the different activities, I mean like every activity. So when we're going to sketch this out at like a template week now, we're going to do the whole day from when we get up to when we go to bed. And this week I've been trying to get up uh, really early because of the whole lockdown situation. I have my kids at home, my wife at home. So for me to get up at like 5 a.m., maybe even a little bit before that, has enabled me to get a couple more hours of complete silence during my working day, which has been awesome. So uh, I'm gonna schedule out my working week starting from 5 a.m. Going through my template is pretty simple, but I've made time for work, I've made time for the boring stuff, I've made time for family, and I've made time for me uh, as a myself. All right, so those four things. So I'm in Europe, so I'm starting with Monday, right? <laughs> Monday for me is gonna be a pretty calm day. I'm usually worn out after the weekend, after gigging or doing a, a sound live. And so Monday, I'm, I'm not feeling in the most creative mood. So we, we've taken the time to do a little bit more family stuff uh, on that Monday and uh, saving up a little energy for the evenings when I'm doing some like a live streaming kind of a thing, live composing thing. And Tuesday, we're starting a little bit more on the boring side of things. We're doing like social media, marketing, emails, invoices, and that kind of stuff. And after lunch is usually when I tutor at the university. So that's kind of blocked out for me, right? Wednesday is going to be a full working day for me on project that I actually am hired to do. And Thursday is going to be a little mix. Some stuff that I'm hired to do and some stuff that is even more creative. I could be hired to do podcast editing, for example. That's that's fine, but it's not the most creative thing in the world once you've done 20 of them. But uh, composing uh, composing a new trailer is, is a lot more creative for me, right? So I'll, I kind of cut the day in half Thursday. Friday is pretty cool, right? Because I've set aside time, four hours to learn new things, learn new skills or like delve deeper into a plugin, uh, doing really boring stuff that's gonna help me get another tool in the toolbox. And I'll kind of split it and work on work-related stuff after that. Friday is also the day that we'll actually be doing anything social. <laughs> And that doesn't mean that we're never seeing any friends, but th this just means that Friday we're gonna prioritize to always find someone to hang out with. So that could be like getting new relationships, uh, connecting with people that we haven't met for a long time. Like this is something we prioritize so that every Friday night we're, we wanna hang out with people. Saturday for me is my resting day. I'm, I'm trying to do as little as possible those days. That's not always working out, but uh, that's, my, that's my template. Uh, and like resting in family and often hanging out with other couples with kids. I'll save a little time for the evening where I can do like me stuff that's not related to work. So that could be whatever for you. But for me, it could be watching a TV series or playing a video game. Sundays for me are pretty much booked. I'm doing a lot of sound in church and stuff. So, so that, that day easily passes. But uh, the most important thing about the Sunday for, for this kind of thing is that that's the day we plan next week and talk about what's going to be coming up, uh, what's the challenges, do, what do we need to change from this template to make next week work. And we also set aside some time to plan our social media for that week and having a look at how the social media part of the company is doing. 
And that's it. That's a template that I like to strive towards and probably no week for me is going to look exactly like this but I'm trying to kind of steer towards it because I know that this template has come out from the priorities of what I want to accomplish in this season that I am in right now. So there's no magic trick here. There's no like huge secrets, but having a good look at how your week is organized and is sorted is going to help you make choices on what to say yes to, what to say no to, and ultimately uh, get you more in the direction that you want to go. So that's how I schedule my weeks. Uh, how do you schedule yours? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be back next week with a new episode. Uh, so you can subscribe down below if you want to get notified when that new video comes up. Until then, have a great week. And remember, there is always gold in everyone.